Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time. I'm Jasmine, I'm a homeschool mom to four boys. Um, we have a third grader, a preschooler, a toddler, and a newborn in the mix. And this is our fourth one going on our fifth year of homeschooling. And today I have a short but exciting homeschool update for you guys. This is our April homeschool update. I actually skipped on an update last month um, because we just there there wasn't really much to update on so i'm just kind of combining march and april um here in this one update for you guys so for today's update i'm going to be sharing a couple of books that we read and really enjoyed um these past couple months or past two months and i'm going to talk briefly about our curriculum where we are with that how things are looking for the close of the school year i am switching up um not the curriculum we're using but switching up um how we're closing out the school year just a little bit because we are going on vacation to the states by the time you guys see this video we would have already um taken off and we will already be there but yeah so we are closing out the school year with a little bit of road schooling and i will share that on the tail end of the video so First up, books that we read and really enjoyed. There are three books that I have to highlight for March and April, and that is Ways to Make Sunshine, Akimbo and the Elephants, and Akimbo and the Lions. One thing I really wanted to do this school year was to make sure that I was diversifying the types of books that we were reading and bringing into our homeschool. So with Ways to Make Sunshine, I really like the fact that through that book our kids got introduced to a little bit more of black american culture and like some of the things that we say um some of the things that we do and it was really cool to be able to have like those little conversations with our kids because if you're not familiar with our channel we are american expats we live in the uae and so our kids our oldest is the only one who has any experience living in the states and even then he was still really young and so um he doesn't really remember much as far as like um american culture and things like that go and so he's been introduced to those things or they've been introduced to those things through books and stories and things that we've brought into our homeschool and ways to make sunshine was just added to the list of great books that we've brought in and read with them and it's kind of helped to um open up conversation about you know why we as black people in america have done certain things or say certain things and yeah i could tell they really really enjoyed that book even my four-year-old was asking at bedtime if we could um read some more of this book so I think this was a great pick for our homeschool read aloud list this year. Not to mention, we also got to touch on uh, sibling dynamic and talk about, you know, um, what it looks like to value our siblings and really look out for each other, have each other's back and all of that. Now, Akimbo and the Elephants, Akimbo and the Lions, those two books are a part of the uh, three in one book uh, series that I bought. Those two stories, the boys really, really enjoy. We kept them to um, bedtime read aloud and they're really quick, easy reads. Um, now it's not like finishing one night, type of quick and easy read but they were quick and easy reads like we we could read a story in a week's time frame but um the boys really liked those books i could definitely see us reading these again maybe even sometime soon um again even my four-year-old was into the stories and i liked how they um touched on real topics like poaching and what that looks like how harmful that is to um to animals and it even gave a glimpse into the life of those who sort of dedicate their lives to rescuing those animals and um making sure that poachers don't have easy access to them and things like that so i really enjoyed reading these books with the boys now on to our road schooling plans and how we um are switching things up just a little bit for as far as how we're closing out the school year so as i mentioned we're going on vacation to the states and i thought that that would be the perfect time to um sort of switch gears and 
um, try out the road schooling thing. So basically, I'm not going to like overcomplicate it or make it like some big formal thing but I am gathering a list of like museums like history museums kids museums um art galleries this is that we can turn into like little field trips for the kids and we are going to let that be like their lessons for for those weeks so basically what I'm planning to do is instead of having us uh, work out of our curriculum books every day I'm probably I'm going to take that down to maybe like two or three times a week and instead we're going to do field trips we're gonna get outdoors see what we can do as far as that goes because things have been heating up here in the UAE already and so we already have dialed back on going outside during the day we try to get it in in the morning as much as we can but we're not always able to so hopefully while we're visiting we can take advantage of finer weather now we haven't been very big on doing projects in our homeschool but this year since we're doing the road schooling thing i would like for us to as best we can um do like a compilation video of our trip so i want me and my oldest to try to work together to um capture footage of like the history museums kids museums and art galleries and things that we do outdoors and all of that and just kind of put together a um a compilation video of all of that and i want to try to um have him to basically show like his favorite things um that he's learned or done and i figure by doing it like video style this can also serve as like family memory or family keepsake so it'll be something that he can remember our trip by um and we can look back on as a family so that is my plan for how we are going to end this school year and of course i'm planning on sharing some footage of our field trips and sort of like some day in the lifestyle videos here with you guys on the channel as well so you can be looking forward to that content and that is actually all for this month's update i hope you guys enjoyed the video if so don't forget to hit the thumbs up thank you so much for watching